Hello, everyone, and welcome to Crypto Disrupt with myself, James Brooks. I am joined today by Momchil from Open Source University, a project that we're very excited about. So, Momchil, thank you so much for taking the time to join me today and, and, and have a chat about your project. Yeah, uh, hi, and uh, thanks for having me. Great. So, um, Momchil, perhaps you could start off by just giving us a brief rundown about Open Source University, what it is, and, and what you guys are looking to achieve. The idea behind uh, Open Source University, so why is it called Open Source University? Because It's simply because we do want to uh, apply the principles of uh, open source uh, in the educational system that is currently available. Uh, we want uh, to open source universities and uh, this change is uh, to come from their end and uh, we're providing the product that is uh, supplying this new educational model which is uh, embracing collaboration. So uh, actually the idea of the OS University platform is to bridge uh, the gaps of uh, the educational sector and also uh, the businesses because the businesses are the driving power like for education. This is why educational institutions exist to prepare candidates and uh, to supply uh, real real life business demands. So it's uh, generally uh, allowing uh, both ends to shape the learners, candidates like lifelong learners, employees, uh, we call all of, the, all of those people learners and uh, allow both sides, uh, academic and uh, business, to shape them, uh, to form them as, uh, uh, as fast as possible and uh, with the highest quality uh, possible as well. So it is a fast track model uh, where we, at the end, will store qualifications, skills, uh, every kind of certificate that uh, the learner achieves uh, into the blockchain. We will also match the skills to the business uh, to the business needs. Like when somebody is uh, trying to uh, search for the right candidate. Yeah, great, great. So um, perhaps you could tell me um, to start off with a little bit more about your role in the team. Yeah. Uh, okay. So um, I'm the creative technologist on the team, um, and this is actually a, quite a new definition. Uh, but I'm actually coming from a design background. A digi I'm, I'm a digital designer by, by nature, uh, yet uh, I'm very passionate about technologies. Uh, I was uh, studying engineering. Uh, Mathematics is uh, <laughs> flowing in my... I, I, love, uh, I love everything related to technology. So the, during the last years, uh, I have been also focusing on front-end development, uh, and I also tried some back-end development. I'm very interested in Python, and uh, therefore came um, some additional interest of mine to explore blockchain and dApps, uh, pouring all of my experience uh, from my design background. Uh, I'm responsible for the whole look and feel of the project, the UX and the UI of the platform, and uh, yeah, I'm quite involved in the front-end development as well. Great, this is awesome. And, and so how long have you actually been working on the project? Uh, so Christian approached us a bit more than a year from now. Um, this is when he came, uh, he came to us and uh, uh, discussed uh, the idea. Uh, at the point when he, where he approached us, he was actually at the end of his research phase and uh, we actually got it uh, pretty quickly. We embraced uh, the idea and uh, we have teamed up to further develop and validate it. From checking out the website and some of your documentation, uh, it's clear to me that you're serving really three main areas, right? So you've got learners, academia, like universities and, and other sort of organizations like that and, and businesses. So could you perhaps um, give me a brief rundown as to what problems you're solving for each of those three kind of categories of, of people or organizations? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, uh, yes, of course. Um, so to start uh, with the learners, of course, um, all, all the, all the educational content providers that are on board, they will feature the courses they have and we are simply organizing everything. And uh, one of the important aspects is that uh, you can be the best at everything, right? But uh, you can provide the best ma course in mathematics, you can uh, provide the best course in algorithms and so on and so on. So, on. so just a simple use case, uh, a business can uh, prepare an, a program where they say, okay, we need this course and this course and this course. And um, if you go through the whole course, we guarantee that you get to the point of an interview at least. Like this is for an example of how first businesses can pour in some quality uh, candidates that match exactly their needs. Um, okay. okay, so as, as, a, as a learner on the platform, essentially you can, as you're looking to decide what studies or what study route you want to take, you can actually look at what the kind of demand is at the moment for for businesses in the sector that you're wanting to perhaps go into and make informed decisions on what courses, what universities would be the best for the career path you want to take, essentially. Yes, uh, that's uh, that's exactly uh, what we are doing. And uh, yeah, uh, it will be additional additional platform for for universities to feature their uh, courses, uh, to feature their educational content. And uh, we do have uh, some solutions uh, to help universities uh, get modernized to jump into the digital age that we live in. Uh, they're much faster once you digitalize your content, you can reuse it, of course, and. Uh, uh, yeah, massive open online course providers, they, they validate that a faster, fast track educational model really works and uh, like spending four years on, on something uh, at the university, for example, is, it is very valuable, of course, it is, but uh, there are a lot of courses that you go through and uh, actually you don't, uh, you don't need them in your, in your first further development in your career yeah definitely i i think that that is one massive problem when it comes to universities and people you know around the world spending a lot of money on education um when actually it's not they're not necessarily directing it correctly you know going on the correct courses for for where they want to be so i think this is a very cool um, kind of feature of your platform um, I'd love to talk a bit more about the the businesses side of things because I'm very curious to know, um, you know, how the platform will impact businesses and help businesses, and also what feedback you've you've had from from businesses that you've been speaking to about your platform. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so uh, for businesses, we are uh, solving uh, quite some problems and. Uh, most of the things uh, like is the first, this is the precise candidate sourcing. Um, like I, I don't, <laughs> I'm not a fan of quoting names, but if you go to LinkedIn and uh, all those endorsements and profile stuff, this is uh, something that can be manipulated, let's say. Everyone can add anything on his profile, ask his friends to endorse him, give pluses and stuff. Um, while, uh, we will bring a lot of trust as we are extracting the skill set from the courses automatically. And uh, this is something that you built on uh, on your profile. And um, there are uh, some other pro problems related to this, for example, uh, fake CVs and uh, fake diplomas, certifications, you have to go and check everything. Once you're diploma from university is verified on the platform you can ju just check if this is the right address of the university if it is on board and if it uh if if the the current certificate is stated as verified like you can be pretty sure and just uh, rely on that information so this is the problem of uh, trust and uh yeah basically it's uh, targeting the right courses 
the, the right candidates to the right businesses, business needs, job positions, uh, and so on. And um, if we go if we go deeper, there is another very important uh, aspect from the platform. It's the business to academia relationship. It's going to be um, it's going to be a marketplace where businesses can can order the production of a specific course. Uh, for example, we, we do know that there is some issue with blockchain developers. There is a lack of them. Uh, so a, a company who, who is building a blockchain product, let's say, they can go to the best academias, ask for a course, get a quotation, select based on reviews or uh, whatever their parameters are. And uh, the course will be delivered uh, in the specific time frame and upon all requirements and they can use later that course it can, it can stay private for internal uh, employee qualification improvement and uh, education or they can open it they can collaborate businesses can can collaborate together like the the scope of the platform is really big but uh, we are working on uh, on chunks to deliver and uh, yeah we're going to achieve that global vision uh, step by step Wow, this this sounds incredible. So, you know, essentially, as a as a learner, you you get the option to, you know, take a look at your career path. Maybe to take a look at the kind of employers that you'd like to work with in the future, and you know, map out a an education plan based on where you want to go. Um, for obviously the universities, this is super helpful. Um, from that point of view, but also from the point of view that businesses could perhaps even pay the universities to create a certain course that's going to help their business to um, employ the right kind of people with the right kind of skills. And then from a business point of view, um, you know, businesses can make sure that they're, they almost make sure that the universities are bringing people through the right courses so that they're you know, getting people through that are really set for their, their needs very specifically. Am I understanding mm -hmm. that correctly? Yes, uh, you, you got it perfectly right. <laughs> this sounds absolutely amazing. Um, um, it's been, yeah, it's great kind of talking to you and, and getting a feel for this. So um, obviously as part of that, you're, you're building your platform, but also you're creating your own tokens. So perhaps we could talk a little bit about the, the token, the functionality of the token and, and how that's gonna work and interact with, with the platform. Yes, uh, of course. So uh, uh, we do have a, a token, it is a, a true utility token. So it's uh, powered, and the platform is powered by the EDU token. Um, even though we are going to adapt um, other cryptocurrencies in the platform at first, uh, as well as uh, uh, purely fiat currencies like fiat to fiat relationships will be also possible. Uh, yet uh, there there are platform fees that are that are covered for uh, all the alternative payments, and only the EDU token transactions are uh, zero commissions. So this is uh, one of the important aspects here, and. Uh, Another thing is that we do have a, uh, a, burn, a burn mechanism, which is uh, implemented as a, um, yeah, for currency deflation. The, our tokens are uh, of a very limited supply, so it's uh, 40, 48 million. And part of the transaction fees accumulated uh, from fiat currencies and other cryptocurrencies will be converted to EDU tokens, and then those tokens will be burned. Uh, Tell me a bit more about your your roadmap um, upcoming. You know, beyond token sale, what, what's that looking like at the moment? Okay, so um, currently we're very actively working on the alpha release of the platform. Uh, we're uh, after the alpha release, we are going to make the first pilot integrations uh, with universities, with mocks, and with businesses. We're go going to onboard them and uh, respectively their learners and employees as users of the platform. Uh, currently, 
on a local level we are pretty good like we're very very well connected we do have some partnership agreements already set up here and uh, uh, the future is very bright and uh, we are actually now expanding globally to Europe and uh, not only um, we're focusing on delivering uh, a product and not a product but a very well working product um, and of course, there will be some rounds of testing. We'll do a better release uh, further on. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, we do have a, a, detailed, uh, a detailed roadmap on the website. We are actually very open to discuss uh, uh, points with, uh, with the community. We do have uh, AMA, Ask Me Anything sessions. And uh, yeah, after the pilot integrations uh, go on, we'll see. We'll see. We, we do have some points, like in terms of business development and uh, more integrations. But uh, we believe uh, that yeah, once once we set off and uh, we show show the working product, uh, academias will will start approaching us as well. Great. Um, so if, if people who are watching this want to know more about the project or want to join the community, what are the best ways for them to check out more information and connect with your community? Uh, yeah, definitely visit the website, uh, check the social media profiles, uh, go to Twitter. Uh, Twitter is uh, some, somewhere where we post regular updates and uh, also the Telegram announcement channel um, is something important to follow up. Uh, the blog, the blog is definitely one of the best sources to get information. We update uh, one of the most important uh, uh, most important news there, and uh, we have a lot of information in the blog. Uh, I can say, yeah, we post the information of ask me anything meetings over there and we try to, to have all the social channels uh, live. So uh, the best option is to subscribe to everything. But uh, yeah, we, <laughs> we, keep, uh, we keep everything live. So uh, just uh, the standard uh, and uh, most popular networks work, work the best. Great. Cool. Well, um, that's awesome. Hey, Momchil, thank you so much for uh, joining us and telling us more about Open Source University. As I say, as a team here, we're extremely excited about the project. Uh, so th thank you so much for joining us. Yes, uh, thanks for having, having me once again. And uh, yeah, uh, it is uh, always a great, great pleasure to get in touch with the community, to share details about the project. and. Uh, uh, yeah, it would be great to have a uh, further collaboration with you. Uh, as we discussed, uh, uh, we are very open to the to speak to the public, to get in touch with the community. And we have a Vox Populi section on the website where uh, from time to time we do update some uh, interviews, something, something that might be interesting to, to the public. And uh, yeah, probably we can share that uh, in Great, great. That would be awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, this has been great chatting about Open Source University. I will leave all of the links in the description below to the website and the social media channels so that you can connect with the Open Source University uh, community. And guys, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I'm sure that the guys over at Open Source University will, will check them out and, and reply to them. And uh, if you're new here and you enjoyed this interview, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified every time we post a new video. And guys, we will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.